suppose you have the following question. Express the result of uh, three plus five j plus seven angle fifty degrees in four. Uh, I'm using the engineering convention where, where instead of using i, j is the square root of negative 1. I explained before that uh, uh, mathematicians like to call square root of negative 1 as i, and engineers like to use j for it. Okay? So suppose you have this. How do you solve this? Well, first you have to convert seven angle 50 into a rectangular form like this because if you don't then you don't know what the components are therefore you can't add. So let's figure out seven angle 50 degrees as a plus bi. What is the value of a? What's the value of b? How would you find it? Okay, how do you get a? Can you draw the picture? It's 7 and this is 50 degrees and you're looking at this length and that, that length. How do you find A? So whenever you have R angle theta, A will be R cosine theta and B will be R sine theta. That's the formula to convert things into, into rectangular form. Let's use a computer to change it. So what is 7 times cosine of 50 degrees? It's 4.499, so it's safe to say it's about 4.5. Four, four point, yeah, four point five. Okay. What's seven sine fifty then? Seven sine fifty degrees. It's uh, five point three six. Therefore, we can rewrite 7 angle 50 degrees as 4.5 plus j times, or 5.36j. <coughs> now we can add these two without any problem. So now we can say 3 plus 5j plus 7 angle 50 degrees is same as adding 3 plus 5j plus 4.5 plus 5.36j. You add the real part by the real part, the imaginary part by imaginary part. So 3 plus 4.5 is 7.5 plus 5 plus 5 is 10, so it's 10.36j. However, that's not the end of the story because this is rectangular form. You have to convert that into polar form. What do you do? You have to find the magnitude and the angle, right? Um, how do you get the magnitude, R, from here? Yeah, you take the square root of the squares, right? So 7.5 squared plus 10.36 squared. That let's try to complete it here. Um, square root of 7.5 squared is 10.36 squared. 36? And that's uh, 12.79. That's 12.79.
How about the angle? How do you get the angle? Remember? 10 inverse, right? Inverse 10. Or arctangent. You, you, this is called the arctangent, right? And then what over what? B over A. Right? The, the imaginary part over the real part. So it's 10.36 uh, over 7.5 plus alpha. What is this alpha? It's something that depends on the quadrant, right? In the first quadrant, you don't do anything. In the second one, you have to add 180. And the fourth quadrant, you want to add 360 because you want uh, the angles to be between 0 to 360 degrees. Now, which quadrant does this number belong? One first. First one, because they're both positive, right? So what do you add? Sure. Nothing. You don't have to add anything. So in this case, uh, we just have to find this. Let's use a 54 point How do you do this without a calculator on the test? Oh, on the, on the test, uh, it will be something that you can do it uh, without the calculator. So it will be much like 60 degrees. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay, so here what we need. We need uh, R10 of 10.36 divided by 7.5. Oh, in, in degrees. So I have to say in degrees. And that's a 54.0, uh, 54.1. So the answer is finally 12.79 uh, angle 54.1. I, I once saw in the Engineering 290 course, uh, they had a quiz like this one. Be, you, you may be asked uh, this type of question in Engineering 290. Yes? Couldn't you just take the polar form of 3 plus 5J and add that to The that thing is, if, if they're both in polar form, the magnitudes don't add up. There is no, no formula when you have both as polar form. So in fact, if they're both in polar form, you have to convert both of them into rectangular and then add and change to polar form, unfortunately. The, 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 the reasoning is this. Let's see, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, 24, uh, <coughs> square root of 34. Okay, so this is like square root of 34, angle whatever, I don't know. And you're trying to add this to that. And uh, if you draw the picture, it's like this. You have one that's like 7 here, 50 degrees. Another, another is something similar. And if you add these two vectors, the magnitude is no longer 7 plus square root of 34. It's something less than 7 plus square root of 34. So uh, it's very hard to do it that way. So uh, it, it's like, I mean, actually, you know what? Uh, you, you can also have a very similar question in the context of vectors. You might be asked, so a similar question will be, if you have u as 3, 5, and v magnitude is 7, if the direction of of v is 50 degrees counterclockwise from x-axis. What is u plus v? If you if you're asked something like this. In terms of coordinate form, the answer will be 7.5 comma 10.36. Now, in, if you're taking physics 2 in, in your physics course, you'll be not only a, you'll be asked to change this into magnitude and direction. In that case, you will have to do exactly this. You'll be you'll have to answer in that. We're going to say magnitude is 12.79 and the direction is 4.1.
So it's, everything is related at this point. Uh, the complex number addition, vector addition, in the context of Calc 3, in the context of engineering, and in the context of physics 2. So if you just know how to do this in one context, you should be able to do everything. 